everybody, Karen Rao Carter here. This is Feng Shui Story Time. This is where you can hopefully pick up some Feng Shui tips that, to apply to yourself based on the stories of my clients and what I found and the results that they've got. Oh my gosh, I had one woman whose eyes were literally working their way out of her head. She did not have the, is it Graves? Uh, the disease that where that happens, I think it's a thyroid thing. Me and medical stuff. Um, I look at things from a completely different different point of view. So, but she had glasses on. She wouldn't even let me see her eyes. And she goes, literally, sometimes I have to, like, her eyes fall out of her head. Okay, and she's like, I will do anything anything you say. And I'm like, you know, this is a point where you have to figure out like, how much time do I have to make a change? You know, um, somebody that's taken a little hit, uh, you know, okay, let's do some things and let's watch and see how it progresses. And then there are some people that were like, we don't have time. We don't have time, um, time to, time to move, you know, or, or let's make giant, ginormous changes. Um, I'm like, I'm looking at my thing. Should I draw what was, what her house was? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. All right. Sorry. I'm just winging it here with this. I'm going to try to draw right in front of you what her bedroom looked like. Well, first of all, in section, her bed, her bed was on the second story right here. Here's her bed on the second story and the head of her bed was actually cantilevered over the first floor. So there was like thin air down below the head of her bed. Also in plan view where her bed was, where the rest of the house was like that, this was windows 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 the whole head of the the whole head of the bed was just completely like not supported i guess we'll call it you know just very loose energy from top bottom all around uh i think her the the door yeah the door of her bed was facing the foot of the bed which made another challenge because that's actually called the death position. It's kind of like the worst position is to have the door. You walk straight into the foot of the bed. So I'm looking at the, I'm looking at these arrangements and I've never seen anything where the, where the bed was cantilevered like that. And it was just glass all the way around. Like her head is sticking out over the edge with glass all around. I've never seen any layout like that before. So I'm like, well, it must be causing something not good. And so she's like, honey, the contractors will be here tomorrow if you tell me to. I'm like, you know what? I think I have to call the contractors on you because you don't have time. Like she's like, it's just getting worse and worse. And now they're to the point where they're falling out and I kind of have to put them back in there. I don't even get it. So, and she's like, my doctor's like, I don't have that disease. I'm like, okay. So I said, I think you must have the arrangement for your eyes coming out of your head. I've never seen this arrangement before and let's get after it, right? So we took door, there was a, there was a sliding glass door going to a balcony. I said, we're cutting that balcony off. We're moving your bed over to one side. We're getting you out of that niche that, that's all glass. Um, we're getting, there's like structure below you. So your head is not out in thin air. She's like, Don, I will do it. I will do it. I will do it. And I said, please let me know how this goes. You know, when you're really tearing into a house, it's, it's all another situation where you're disrupting the energy so much. I said, you know, we, we have to be mindful of the total destruction <laughs> temporarily of your house as well. So keep me in the loop. Uh, I mean, I gave her some other tips too, just general like foods and things like that. I don't want to go into all that, you know, go to Make a Shift Change Your Life, you'll, uh, my book and 
you'll get some of those tips. But long story short, I said, please get in touch with me. And she never called me back. And I don't like to bug my clients, you know, but part of the feng shui consultation is it includes a follow up and like, call me, let me know what's happening. And if we have to tweak, you know, I'll, we'll do it. And I never heard from her, never heard from her. A couple years later, I get a call from a guy and she's like, he's like, oh, my friend, um, uh, asked me, you know, said you were really good and, and wanted, um, you know, wanted me to ha have a consultation with you. And I was like, what? Uh, oh, like whatever happened to her? She never called me back. I was like, ah, this finally get follow up. And, um, you know, cause it took a while, I guess, to do the construction. And then, you know, she just forgot about call calling me back. And, and the guy was like, oh, well, yeah, well she did what you said and it all worked. She goes, her eyes just got, I mean, it's like, sometimes I even laugh as like, really? And I'm like, it seems bizarre. And I'm the biggest skeptic sometimes. I'm like, is this really going to work? This lady's going to put a lot of money down. I'm like, oh my gosh. Right. But you know, I just follow with the basics. I do what I think from a feng shui position, uh, point of view would, would take, you know, and uh, even though sometimes I've never seen this particular situation before, I'm like, I think these are the classic signs that would make, you know, somebody really be in a weakened position. Okay, let's just undo that and see what happens. And he said, yeah, she made the changes. It all, she all it got better. That's why she recommended you to me. And I was like, <laughs> finally, I hear the follow up on that. It was like two or three years later. And um, so anyway, if you have some bizarre feng shui, like our architectural situation, and you're like not sure of the feng shui, join my Move Your Stuff with Karen program, send in your floor plans and pictures. I'll be glad to take a look at them. That's where we do like a group call every two weeks and, um, and people just present their, their things that they wanna have questions about and everybody's learning from everybody else's questions and comments and pictures and floor plans. And if you do want a private consultation, feel free to call me. I do, I fly around the world doing that. I also do telephone consultations and look at floor plans and pictures and really just comb through the entire uh, home a little bit more deeply than what we could do in the, make, uh, in the Move Your Stuff with Karen program. But um, those are what I would suggest if you have a real interesting, desperate health ailment that the doctor is like, I don't know what your problem is, you know? So, um, feel free to take, uh, take advantage of that, uh, in the links below, please comment in the links below. Tell me what, what you've learned or what you've accomplished based on this video. I'd love to hear about that. So this is a weird story, but, um, but one that's worthy of saying, you know, sometimes you can just simply move a few things and change your life. And sometimes it might, you might be desperate enough to really have to dig in. There were no other bedrooms uh, for her to move into. It was a very odd architectural home. And so we chose to just rip into the house and, and do what we could do. So sometimes these custom architectural houses end up having such unique features that you just don't see them that often. Whew, um, hope that's been helpful. Thanks so much for watching and please comment below.